this is another Play Like the Master game featured on Chessfold.net and it's my second attempt at doing a video after Majnu, the video expert, has explained to us on the forum how to do these videos. I've gone for a more aesthetic um, wooden style pieces which I hope uh, people appreciate. Anyway, on to the game. So Karpov playing white plays d4. Kasparov plays knight f6 which is one of his favourite moves. Um, keeping flexibility in the centre. Karpov plays c4. Kasparov plays g6. He used to play the Grunfeld defence um, and also he was a very, very much liked to play the King's engine defence. After knight c3, bishop g7, e4, d6, we have a King's engine defence here. Karpov plays the Simish variation with f3, supporting the centre pawn on e4. Um, it's a solid variation. Um, after castles, bishop e3. White often has the idea of queen d2, castles, queen side, and h4. A lot of club attacking chess is often like this, where white's often trying to exchange off the dark square bishops and just hack black on the h file. It wins a lot of games, so whatever works. This game, you would expect a more positional treatment, though, from Karpov. e5, knight, g2, e2. Already a sign Karpov wants to play positionally. c6, interesting. Um, Black's making way for his queen potentially to come out to a5, but also there's a possibility later of b5 to spot like a6 and b5. Queen d2, knight d7, rook d1. So Karpov's not going to play like a caveman, he's not going to castle queenside. He just wants a bit of positional pressure, but this does mean he has to untangle his kingside a bit to castle kingside now. a6, so Kasparov is going for this b5 potentially. d, knight e5. Very interesting decision by Karpov. He's leaving this c4 pawn vulnerable. Um, but after b3, you know, Kasparov continues his assault on the c4 pawn with b5. He doesn't mind about the d6 being a pre because I think he intends knight d7 with a lot of counterplay. After cb, ab5, it does seem black's got an active rook now quite easily and he's still offering this d6 pawn which now Karpov takes. Kasparov plays this knight fd7 um, so the question now can can White consolidate his position and castle kingside and just be a pawn up for nothing? He plays f4 to try and chase away this strong knight. Instead of um, Kasparov simply playing a knight move, he plays b4, offering a second pawn. If um, fe, then bc3. Um, inst instead, Karpov plays knight b1. After knight g4, bishop d4, bishop d4, queen d4, rook a2. Black's got a very interesting position here, a lot of counterplay. As Karpov's opening gone completely wrong here, he chases away the knight with h3, but he is creating a lot of weaknesses. c5, before moving the knight back, queen g1, very awkward. White's going to have a lot of difficulty now casting queenside. There's a rook on the 7th rank. So Nimzovich would be proud of this rook on the 7th rank. Also, this knight's not particularly <laughs> aggressive on b1. This isn't Karpov's finest hour so far. Knight g f6. Karpov nevertheless plays e5, knight e4, and h4 now, at least trying to activate this rook. It does seem rather an awkward setup. Probably never again to be repeated. C4, don't know exactly, attacking a pawn dynamically. Knight C1, attacking the rook. Now instead of Karpov, Kasparov moving the rook, he plays unbelievably C3. With the idea that after Knight takes A2, C2, he's getting material back um, with a lot more, hopefully. Um, instead of Karpov just playing rook C1, and let's have a quick look at this rook c1 as a new variation. There could be here, uh, according to my analytical assistant, knight takes e5. So 
So what would be the idea of this? Well, after F E we have C takes B one, Queen, Rook takes B one, and Queen D two mate. So that's fairly clear cut. <laughs> so let's go back. After Rook C one there will be knight takes e5, that's quite devastating. So, in this position, Karpov played queen d4. Kasparov played c takes d1, king takes d1, knight dc5. White's development is still fairly atrocious, and black's pieces are all very active. It's very grim for black, for, for white. Happy for black. After takes, queen, rook takes d8, king c2. Knight f2, white's had enough and resigns. Now, why does white resign? Well, so let's say rook g1, bishop f5 check, and um, this is horrible because, first of all, if king c1, we have mating 2 with rook b1, king b2, rook takes b1. If we go back, there's nothing else. If king b2, then we have knight d1 check. King a1, knight takes b3, mate. So, this was a very unfortunate game. 30 moves. Karpov totally busted. Um, something which um, Karpov will remember and probably never play against this, this, this King's engine um, like this ever again.